Dr. Ashish Jha, Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. For more, Dr. Jha, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, first, I want to ask you about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because they are expected to apply for emergency use authorization this week. And if we could put up this uh, graphic on the board here, the numbers on the screen, we know the efficacy was dragged lower because of the South African variant. So should we assume that if Pfizer and Moderna had done their clinical trials in South Africa at the same time, that their numbers would have been lower as well? And what does it mean? Yeah, good morning, Whit. Thanks for having me on. Uh, absolutely. You know, it, it, if you just look at the U.S. numbers for Johnson & Johnson, they are much better. And the South Africa variant is more of a challenge. And if, if we had done trials with Moderna and Pfizer in South Africa at this moment, I do expect that those numbers would have come down as well. And we also saw there the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is 85% effective against severe disease, even better when it comes to hospitalizations and deaths. And many health experts are saying those are the numbers that we should really focus on. So if you have the choice to get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine right now or wait a month or so for the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, what would you do? Yeah, this, to me, this is a no-brainer. I would get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Again, we've got to see the full data. We haven't gotten the FDA authorization. That said, the goal here is to prevent people from getting really sick and dying, of course. And the Johnson & Johnson uh, vaccine, based on what we've seen, really looks like it's terrific at that. So, I also want to ask you about the variants because we're seeing more of these uh, spreading across the country. There was a new case of the South Africa variant confirmed in Maryland. That's two states now. At the same time, more states like New York and California are easing restrictions. Is it too soon for that? Yeah, so first of all, I think these variants are probably everywhere, not just in the states we're identifying them, but in others as well. And that gets to your question. I do think it's too soon. With these variants spreading across the nation, this is not the time to be lifting restrictions in my mind. This is the time to continue focusing on vaccinations, keeping people safe. We will get through this in the next couple of months with more vaccines and vaccinations. But right now, we have to be careful. Dr. Jha, thank you for your time this morning. We do appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.